Other controllers include Ryu, which is an open source Python controller. Ryu supports OpenFlow 1.0, 1.2, and 1.3, as well as the Nasira extensions. It also works with OpenStack. The support for the later versions of OpenFlow and the integration with OpenStack are advantages over other SDN controllers. Because Ryu is implemented in Python, it still does not perform as well as other SDN controllers, such as Knox. Another popular SDN controller is Floodlight. Floodlight is written in Java. It supports OpenFlow 1.0 and is a fork from the early Beacon controller. Floodlight is maintained by Big Switch Networks. Advantages include good documentation, integration with the REST API, and good performance. Unfortunately, it also has a fairly steep learning curve. So you should use Floodlight if you already know Java, if you need production level performance and support, and you will use the REST API to interact with the controller. So we can compare these two controllers with the two controllers that we already discussed, Knox and Pox. We have controllers in three different languages, Python, Java, and C++. We have controllers that support later versions of OpenFlow and support OpenStack. And we have controllers that provide better performance, as well as controllers that are easier to use for rapid prototyping. All of these controllers are still relatively hard to use because they entail interacting directly with OpenFlow flow table modifications, which operate at a very low level of matching on flows and performing specific actions. As we'll see, it's possible to develop programming languages on top of these controllers that make it much easier for a network operator to reason about network behavior. Before we jump into higher level programming languages, however, let's first see how we can use these existing control frameworks to customize network control.